Yeah, it was cool. Obviously, always nice to put a performance on the board for your country and, and help get across the line. Um, I guess, yeah, I've been putting in a lot of hard work the last few months, so to have a little bit of personal success is always nice. But, yeah, again, always just nice to put a performance in for your country. Um, obviously, Scotland asked um, uh, us to bat first and to go out and put a total like that on the board. I think you and Gup had an 80-run odd uh, opening stand. Um, how pleasing was that to kind of set the game up like that? Yeah, it was good. I think we assessed conditions quite well and didn't necessarily get off to the flyer that we would have hoped for. But, yeah, as I said, we talked well and, and communicated um, as a partnership and sort of thought about what would be a good score and then built on that. Um, in terms of this venue, it obviously is a bit different to some of the other grounds you play on around the world, but um, what kind of did you enjoy about betting on that surface? Yeah, it was nice to get a flat wicket. Um, I think early on we sort of had to stay true to sort of our positions and everything, but um, as it went on it got a bit flatter and smaller boundaries always nice as a batter up top as well. So yeah, it was just, it's a nice place to play cricket. Obviously uh, contributed 101 of the total, but we had some pretty valuable contributions all the way down. The likes of Martin Guptill making 40, Jim and Nisham, I think 30 off 9, and then Daryl Mitchell 20 odd off about 12 balls. How important are those other contributions in building a 200 run plus total? Yeah, seriously good. I think the guys came in and they yeah. assessed conditions pretty well. Um, yeah. We tried our best to sort of give feedback back to the group um, whilst we we're out in the middle, but yeah, the guys came in and blitzed it straight away. So that, that obviously contributed really nicely to us getting, you know, a big total. Um, obviously you made, um, have made some, a couple of some starts and you've, uh, on this tour, how pleasing was it to kind of really push forward and actually make that 100? Yeah, it's always frustrating, you know, getting a start and, and sort of not kicking on. Um, and as I said, I've been putting a lot of hard work in and yesterday I think we had a really good day. Um, good chats with Steady and, and a few of the other guys helped a lot. So um, yeah, I think it's obviously pleasing to sort of get that across the line. What for you gets you into that space to be able to perform until you mentioned those chats, those preparation, what's the kind of key for you to get yourself into that place? I think for me it's just keeping things simple. Um, I have my little pre-ball routine and, and that sort of thing and then just being as clear and simple as possible has just worked well for me, yeah. Nice, and then when it came to defending that title with the ball, obviously Scotland managed to have quite a stubborn opening stand. What was important in terms of bowling on that surface, obviously for two more games here at this ground? I think it was important that we just didn't let them get away from us, um, which I don't think we did. Uh, they're obviously allowed to bat well and play good shots, but we knew that sort of as the game went on, the rate was going up and up, which we wanted, and, and ultimately that resulted in wickets falling. Um, obviously, a few wickets for spin with um, Satner and Sodi. Uh, how important will that spin be, do you think, in the next couple of games? Yeah, well, I assume we'll be on the same wicket, so I think it'll break up and, and potentially spin a bit more. So. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously important and we've got some um, really good spin options as well. Um, Bracewell didn't bowl as four and, and obviously GP there as well loves to turn the arm over. So, um, yeah, I think I think we've got a really good matchup going into these next two games. One last one, obviously the team's been sort of had a real focus in this tour on fielding and work in the field. Obviously this is a slightly like different ground. What were the kind of the keys to trying to sort of field on this surface and staying alert? Yeah, it's quite bumpy out there. So I guess, you know, we wanted to fully commit and, you know, keep our standards high regardless of where we're playing. And I think the boys did that really well. Um, obviously, you have to be a little bit more careful of what's going on out there with the, the bumpy outfield. But um, no, I think we did, did really well in keeping our standards high.